In this video, we'll be finding x and y intercepts of a line given the equation. And these equations are going to be written in standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. Okay, so we want to find the x and y intercepts of each one of these. And what we're going to do is set the opposite variable equal to zero. So for the x-intercept here, we will set the y equal to zero and solve for x. And then to find the y-intercept, we will set the x term equal to zero and solve for y. Okay, so let's start this one. Let's look at problem number one. We got 2x plus y equals four. So I'll find the x-intercept first by making the y term a zero. Okay, so that goes away completely. So that leaves us with 2x equals 4. And then when I divide by 2 on both sides, I get x is equal to 4 over 2, which is 2. So that is the ordered pair, 2 comma 0. Okay, and sometimes you'll just be asked to write just the 2. So if you're asked to write just the 2, then say your x-intercept is x equals 2. Okay, for the y-intercept, we're going to make x equal to 0. So instead of 2x, I'll have 2 times 0 plus y equals 4. Okay, the 2 times 0 term goes away completely. So we're left with y is equal to 4, which is your y-intercept. And as a point, it would be written as 0 comma 4. Okay, let's try this one. We've got 4x plus 2y equals negative 12. Let's do the x-intercept first. So 4x plus 2, I'll put a 0 in for the y term, equals negative 12. Of course, that term goes away, so you get 4x equals negative 12. If I divide by 4 on both sides, I get x is equal to negative 3. Okay, so that would correspond to the point, the ordered pair, negative 3 comma 0. Okay, and now let's find the y-intercept by making the x term equal 0. So 4 times 0 instead of x plus 2y is equal to negative 12. Okay, so 2y is equal to negative 12. If I divide 2, I get y is equal to negative 6. So that's my y-intercept, and as a point or an ordered pair, it would be 0, comma, negative 6. Okay, so for this one, we have 7x minus 3y equals negative 8. To find the x-intercept, I make the y equal to 0. Okay, so that will give me 7x on the left and negative 8 on the right. Perfectly fine to have fractions. Okay, so x is equal to negative 8 over 7. Okay, and that would be the ordered pair, negative 8 over 7, comma, 0. Okay, now let's find the y-intercept. So we'll make the x equal to 0. So put a 0 in there, minus 3y equals negative 8. That goes away, so negative 3y equals negative 8. Divide by negative 3 on both sides. Keep in mind that a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So y is equal to positive 8 over 3. And the ordered pair would be 0, comma, 8 over 3. Okay, one last problem. So we've got 6x minus 9y equals negative 14. So x-intercept first, so 6x minus 9 times 0, because I'm finding the x-intercept, equals negative 14. So 6x equals negative 14. Divide by 6 on both sides, and you get x is equal to negative 14 over 6. That needs to be reduced, so divide the top and bottom by 2. So you get x is equal to negative 7 over 3. So that would be the ordered pair, negative 7 over 3, comma, 0. All right, now for the y-intercept, we make x equals 0, so 6 times 0 minus 9y equals negative 14. So if that one goes away, we get nine, negative 9y equals negative 14. Divide by that negative 9 there, 
Okay, remember a negative by a negative turns into a positive. So y is equal to 14 over 9. That can't be reduced. The only thing that goes into 9 is 3 and 9, and neither one of those go into 14. So these, that's your x-intercept, that's your y-intercept, and that would be the ordered pair 0, comma, 14 over 9.